Holy moly. <clears throat> this is Big Jimmy the Border Town Idiot. This is a solo stove ranger. Now I've gotten probably, I've got a huge chunk of wood in there. We see those little dots on the upper right hand corner there. If you get smaller pieces of wood in here after you start it, this thing is virtually sparkless and virtually smokeless once you have it going. And uh, you can take this to the beach. You can, you can put it on your deck, put anywhere. And I've got the ring on the bottom there. It does not burn your deck. It does not burn anything. This is fantastic and uh, most incredible thing I've ever bought. And I can't believe this thing. Solo stove, they've got like a bunch of different sizes. And I got the one uh, where you you have the ring on the bottom and you have the carrying case and you have the spark rester on the top, which is a non right now. And uh, the little hooks, the things you put in your hands to lift the thing off there. I've cooked breakfast on this, it's amazing. I can't believe it. This is, no mind, it's a little pricey, but just go on solostove.com or .ca if you're in Canada and uh, wait for a sale. This thing's incredible. I would recommend this more than anything I've ever bought, besides Advil, of course. This is one fantastic little unit, and it's only sparking because I've got uh, too big of a piece of wood in there. Like I say, this is a small Ranger size. It's uh, portable, you can take it anywhere. Everyone I know loves this thing. And once you have something that's under the dots, that you see in the top right. If you put anything in there that's under that, this thing won't smoke, won't spark, once you have it going. And it's amazing. Uh, like I say, I'm gonna put this on my deck. It's great for the winter, it's great for the fall. Uh, I'm not getting paid by Solo Stove. I have nothing to do with them. I just bought this because I saw it. And uh, you know, throw me a question. I'll answer all your questions. If you have any, anything you're wondering about this thing. Like I say, it's a little pricey, but uh, for everything you get, and uh, the not burn, and it's, I've had it for like a year, year and a half now. Uh, all I do is scrape it out with a little barbecue bristle brush on the bottom. This thing's a reburner too, by the way, because of the dots on the top right. And on the bottom, there's the same thing. That come in there this thing in the morning after I've had a fire all it has is gray ash it burns it's a double burner it'll burn everything right completely out you know how you have your regular uh, fire pits and stuff and they have like chunks of wooden stuff in the morning not this this thing burns her all completely I, I'm so pleased with this thing that I had to create a video on this uh, you know, like I say, I'll answer all your questions as I always do. Uh, give me a shout. I'll answer anything. I love this thing. It's fantastic. Uh, check a little piece of... This is probably going to spark a bit because I've got a little piece of a cedar shingle in here. But I'm going to toss her in there. and Just to give you a little uh, extra excitement. But it really doesn't need it. This thing is just great. Yeah, I put this thing in the carrying case in the back of my truck. I take it to the beach. I put it on the beach. And this thing is just amazing. Like I say, you know, don't judge it because it's a big chunk of what I got in here. I, I just didn't have anything else tonight. But if you have anything normal size, like six to eight inches, if you have any, if you have like 18 inch logs or whatever, come in half and load your truck up or your you know your car and put this uh put this thing to the test you won't be disappointed i believe me this is fantastic i love this thing i'm on the waterfront right now um i'll show you the stars and stuff like that but i haven't got it on that setting right now 
solo stove ranger size. We take it hiking, we take it on the beach, we put it on our deck at home, and this is a, just a fantastic little unit. If anyone would complain about this thing, I'd say they they have a problem because, oh my goodness, uh, there's marks on the bottom. Yeah, of course there's marks on the bottom. It's a stove, you moron. This thing is going to get, you know, uh, you have to scrape it out and stuff. But like I say, you empty it upside down and shake it. Nothing but gray powder comes out in the morning. Uh, once in a while, you have to take one of them little wire brushes, just like a hand size, and just scrape the bottom over the thing, and it'll fall on the bottom. You tip it upside down, and out it comes. Uh, this thing is lasting. It's fantastic. What can I tell you? Give me a shout. Love this thing. Solo Stove Ranger. They have the bigger size. If you just want to leave it on your deck and stuff. and It's not that heavy. I'd say this thing is probably about... It's less than 10 pounds in the bag with all the attachments and all the rings and stuff. Uh, but that's a Ranger. They have a smaller size and a bigger size. Yeah, give me a shout. I love this thing. It's fantastic. Solo stove. Do it. Hey, listen, um, I don't know this guy, but uh, his name's Chad, and he's living the van life. Check that out on YouTube. He's got one of these things. He's got a Ranger, and he takes it, and he cooks stuff on it. And uh, if you check out his channel, you can check out the Solo Stove Ranger. He travels in his van all over the world, all over North America, I should say. And he uses this thing, and he cooks on it. And, you know, you want to see this thing in action. You go see that guy. It's fantastic. Anyway, Big Jimmy the Border Town Idiot saying, buy a solo stove if you want a good quality stove that's not going to burn your deck, that you can take it anywhere in a carrying case, like on a beach, on a waterfront, on your deck, anywhere. This thing's fantastic. I love it. Have a good one.